Look, bitch. You hollering on your motherfucker talking about, uh, uh, I ain't that kind of girl. The nigga said we fucking. The nigga telling you, and I don't give a fuck what he said. What he said was we fucking tonight. And you write back, oh, I ain't that kind of. That nigga right then said, oh, shit, no. I'm not coming in. Hey, man, I can't take this goddamn day off. Fuck that. I don't want to get the room no more. But he couldn't do it, so he said, fuck it, the keys, you know what I'm saying? He told you again, lingerie. Oh, I ain't that kind of girl. Man, I'm not coming through there, dog. You playing. I don't understand what about this whole thread is not understandable. The nigga wanted to fuck. You said you didn't want to fuck. He didn't come through. You thought y'all was friends? Welcome back to the Big Facts Podcast. I am Ayo Canseco, fearless leader of Ayo Nation. And this is... Are you fucking serious? Hold on. I don't got my comics back, but I got some bullshit glass. Oh, this is some shit you get from the goddamn doctor's office. This is the shit they give uh, little girls when they get braces and shit like that. I'm gonna have to use this shit, dog. Because I can't, I can't be on this whole looking crusty face. I just can't do that. that, that I just can't do it. Hey. Goddamn dogs. Alright. <clears throat> I need to talk to y'all about some shit that happened in Alabama. Lord. It's a girl that um uh future future was fucking with her, whatever like that. She made sure she let it be known that future was fucking with her for a whole month. As if that fucking matters. Um you see the thing about bad bitches. The thing about bad bitches is they be around so many lame niggas that they really believe when they get with a a nigga that's really up there for real, like a real future Drake type nigga. They really feel like it's gonna be, you know what I'm saying? Like, oh, you just gonna be my homegirl because a lame nigga has to come on that. I just wanna be friend shit to a bad bitch because. A lame nigga feel like the bad bitch hear so much of that sex shit all the time. He got to come with the goddamn, oh, I just want to be friends. You know, it's all cool, whatever like that. It's all, you know, it ain't all about sex to me, whatever. You know what I'm saying? So, this is the main reason why I'm telling you niggas, stop with that lame ass shit you do on social media, telling that fat bitch with that tongue ring that she a queen. The bitch that do her lives and try her best to hide the fact that the dark spot under her ass Full of cellulite and shit like that, and the whole spend all her time getting fully dressed up to do her lives, but the whole won't dress up in basketball shorts and whatever the fuck else she gotta wear and go to, you know what I'm saying, Planet Fitness, whatever the fuck else you work out, or just getting on the road and walking. The whole won't do that. The whole gonna goddamn get online well, well, she's loved that because folks don't wanna go through that pain. Motherfuckers don't wanna go through nothing to get to something, they just wanna get there. I want to be this. I want to be that. They don't want to go to college. No, that's why you got to commend folks that get their degree. And that's what hoes get it fucked up when they get their CNA license. They say, I'm a CNA. No, bitch. You white, white folks ass. Stop playing around. Making your job seem more than what it is. The only reason you CNA hoes actually feel like you somebody because there's so many junky nothing ass hoes out there that you actually, you are a queen amongst the nothing ass bitches. But once again, I tell you. I'm not finna do all this shit. Listen, um, y'all make sure y'all go to the PayPal and shit like that. All my motherfucking AO Nation members who actually donate. Oh my God. I fuck with y'all so heavy. This is the reason I do this shit. When folks donate, y'all that don't understand what it do, it just actually, you know what I'm saying, let me know that motherfucker actually getting something from what I'm saying to you and shit like that. So I really fuck with AO Nation. Continue to donate, show love. If you haven't donated yet, the link is in the description. Make sure you hit that, show love. Uh, all my local artists and advertisers, y'all make sure y'all go to the Facebook Messenger and holler at me, let you know what kind of business you want to do. Um, you need to have a budget of at least $100 so we can get any work done, anything lower than that. You probably need to go holler at, you know what I'm saying, your folk them at the store, put your flies up at the gas station and shit like that. You don't know what I'm saying, just, just leave my Facebook account out of it. You know what I'm saying, I ain't got shit for nobody. You know what I'm saying? Real talk. 
Now, what happened with this situation with Future here? You know, I went to jail on that Future. I went to Metro a lot on that Future shit. <clears throat> back to back on that, on that Pluto. Shit was crazy. A nigga tip, see, I can't, somebody who tell you who they is in the beginning, I have to respect whoever the fuck they is. No matter what the fuck they tell you, as long as it's truth and it's them, you can't get mad at them for being that person. Future, every artist who talk about fucking on this bitch, fucking on that, this is why uh, Cardi B ain't really tripping on getting cheated on by Offset because this is what this is. You know what the fuck it is. I'm telling you what the fuck I do. I'm not going to be faithful to no bitch. I'm a real nigga. A real nigga ain't going to be faithful to no hoe. Regardless if he show it or not, a real nigga not going to be faithful to no hoe. Understand when I said a real nigga. And what you hoes want is a real nigga. You don't want no man. If you wanted a man, you wouldn't be running behind no motherfucking future. Future is how many kids in? The fuck is you talking about? You knew what you was getting into, so let's get down to what's going on. Uh, the bitch right on the post, she, she hollering about, oh, I thought I was going to the studio. We went to the studio one or two times. Hey, bitch, that was the goddamn setup. Maybe maybe the nigga was on Molly. Maybe he was on Tails, on Perk, whatever like that right then. And he couldn't really smash you like he wanted to right then. He kept you around. Sometimes a nigga don't want to just fuck a hoe. You know what I'm saying? But if I got you around, I am going to fuck you. It's all love. Now, see, what you're supposed to do in this situation... Because she told him, uh, she fly me out. You told him to fly you out and then the hotel room and shit like that. Now, if you really was trying to get in with him, what you should have did was, I'll be out there in a minute. And just flew yourself out that bitch. See, you put yourself in the bag with the rest of the nothing ass hoes. Future got bitches way better than you that actually got money. So when you come on the phone tomorrow, some, ah, oh, man, uh, shoot me some. Shoot me some. Oh, hell no. Nah. I'm going to get this whole room for one night. I'm going to be in and out of this bitch. This hoe ain't nobody. This hoe ain't nobody. And this is what you hold getting fucked up. You only going to be bad for so long. This is why I got respect for Superhead. Because she took what she had, her skills, her talents, and she embodied them and made a career out of it. It's fucked up because you can't get in that lane no more. But... It's good that that was a one-time thing because now you hoes know that no no longer will you be able to just get in the game of that fucking shit unless you're willing to be a real nothing-ass bitch and bring a child into this world. If you're a black China-type bitch, an Amber Rose-type bitch, uh, um, I can't say Kim Kardashian because she had her own shit going on. That's fucked up, ain't it? But that's what the fuck it is. See... You see what's going on here? You can't just be bad because there's always going to be a bitch that's better out there. What you need to bring to the table is some type of talent, some type of creativity, and not just no rap. Cardi B didn't already showed you that this rap shit is pretty much, it's, it's, it's fickle. So Cardi B can make it without being able to rap, but Remy Ma won't make it even though she knows how to rap. Because the two lanes are already taken up. The bitch that can rap, which is Nicki Minaj, and the bitch that can't rap, which is Cardi B. What they have in common is they both light skin and they both bad, whether they got fake bodies or not. Them lanes is already taken up, so you got to find where you fit in. But what you hoes is doing, why you keep losing is you falling behind a bitch. You either falling behind Nicki Minaj, sex symbol, or you falling behind Cardi B, sex symbol. You need to find your own shit. And not just some type of bullshit ass perfume line, some nail line, some hair line. Do something that nobody ain't did before. You wonder why you keep failing and you keep getting did like this by niggas. Well, you gotta cry and whine. Let's get to that shit. So now... Because she got played like what she is. Hold on, let me get to this. Look, bitch. You hollering on them motherfucker talking about, uh, uh, I ain't that kind of girl. The nigga said we fucking. The nigga telling you, and I don't give a fuck what he said. What he said was we fucking tonight. And you right back, oh, I ain't that kind of. That nigga right there said, oh, shit, no. I'm not coming in. Hey, man, I can't take this goddamn day off. Fuck that. I don't want to get the room no more. But he couldn't do it, so he said, fuck it, the keys, you know what I'm saying? He told you again, lingerie. Oh, I ain't that kind of girl. Man, I'm not coming through there, dog. You playing. I don't understand what about this whole thread is not understandable. The nigga wanted to fuck. You said you didn't want to fuck. He didn't come through. 
You thought y'all was friends? What did you give Future that he couldn't get somewhere else? Why would you think that you're important to a nigga? This is what you hoes get fucked up. You not that bad in real life. It's just that once you are actually a, a dime in your section, in your in your area, you gonna be treated like a real queen. Niggas gonna know what I'm saying, oh man, they gonna real like real nigga with real money gonna like try to fuck with you because you really are bad. But once you get thrown into that pot of Houston bitches, LA bitches, Wisconsin bitches, Utah bitches, Georgia bitches. You just another bad bitch. Everything about you can be reproduced, imitated. There's nothing about you that stands out. So what the fuck else is a for a nigga to do with you but fuck? And if you won't fuck, what the fuck am I doing with you? You went to the studio with him. You wasn't helping him with no songs. You can't do shit. And the reason why you know this shit ain't about nothing is, even at the end of the shit, you trying to promote your Instagram so you can catch another nigga up. Let's be serious right here. If he did come to the room and fuck you, say that you wouldn't have tried to say, I got his baby. The way you put this shit out on front, if you was a real bitch, you would have said nothing about this shit. The only thing that happened right here is, uh, you thought y'all were going to get up and y'all didn't get up. You paid a little bit of money to go and see a nigga, he didn't show up. Because he did not want to play with a bitch he wasn't going to fuck. And you got to respect that shit. You knew who the fuck he was from the jump. Ain't no, he was so cool. She told he, he's so cool. How the fuck? He's cool because he got money. It's niggas just like him. They got swag just like him, but not that type of money. But you wouldn't fuck with him. You will call him lame. No respect for a clout chasing, nothing ass bitch who in five years won't be worth nothing because these hoes ain't working out for real. These hoes just was blessed with a little bit of body and they put the weave in, put the makeup on all crazy. And it's always going to be a bitch that do that better than you. Always. It's some niggas around you who going to pump your, they not going to tell you the truth. They're not going to tell you what your flaws is because they know the type of person you are. You're going to run away and, and talk this bull. Like, how you doing now? How you talking bullshit about a nigga? They know that you're going to do the same thing to them. So they just play in their position until one day you slip and they get to fuck you. Then they're going to do you the same fucking way. Depending on how lame they is. But the way you rocking, I bet you can't give head. You probably can't fuck good. Because you feel like you pull me here to a fucking st bitch. Who is you? What's your name? This nigga didn't had Black China, Sierra, real bad hoes. They got money and dip the fuck out. You hoes? No, it's not you hoes. Because see, the niggas are making you hoes believe. That you are too much more than what you actually are. So this false sense of security that they're impounding into your mind is pumping your head up so big that when shit like this happens, you feel like you've been thrown a loop. You've been bamboozled. I say you've been hoodwinked, but that's not the case. You got did the way that everybody else got did. It's so many other hoes that if they had if they had that chance for future, them hoes would have threw on. Future wouldn't even had to tell them hoes to put on the lingerie, and he would have fucked with that. Future told you I might get on this model and fuck with a basic bitch, because a basic bitch is fun. But you on this hoe acting like you how she did it. You came with the wrong plan. It didn't work. You was trying to get a baby. It it is what it is. Go on to the next nigga. But what I want to do is. For the next nigga that fuck with this bitch, understand what she want and who she is. Understand what she want and who she is. What she wants is to be some motherfucking body. Because if she didn't, she wouldn't put her IG shit at the bottom of this shit. And she damn sure wouldn't broadcast. I've known Future for a month. You got a nigga name on your phone. It's Future, dog. Come on, dog. If you would fuck with that man, you would know what the real name is. How old he is. Listen, my nigga, these hoes, most of these hoes, ho the bitches that are spending most of their time online ain't going to do shit for you, my nigga. Get you a woman, someone who actually is trying to better themselves. 
Not no bullshit ass two week certificate. Someone that's trying to get somewhere in life and you see that she is. She not telling you every five minutes online what she trying to do. You seeing it. She might not even have no social media. Get her on your side so y'all can build something. A hole like this right here ain't going to do nothing but deplete your pockets. Because you're going to want to spend money. Because you're going to want to flex. If I find this hole, I might try to, you know what I'm saying? If I had money, I, you know what I'm saying? I can't do nothing with this whole butt fucker. And they have to drive that whole car. You know what I'm saying? Tell her, shoot me some. Just oh, real talk. Shoot me some. That's all I'm going to do with her. But y'all niggas probably know what I'm saying, gonna shoot the whole summer and all this shit you wanna ride around, play through the city. Stop wasting your time on these hoes, dog. You're wasting your time because even if you ain't spending money on them, you're wasting your time. And time is money because this is time that you can be doing something that's gonna be productive for your future where you'll have a million of these hoes doing you how this hoe is doing future. Big Fast Podcast. I am A.O. Conseco. Y'all make sure y'all hit that PayPal. See y'all in a minute. Are you serious?